What's up everyone, Great One Freak here, and man, it's been a while since the last time I've made one of these. I actually had an episode that I recorded and didn't actually put up a little while ago, but I ended up deleting that so, because um, it was like a long time before I even had access to the internet and stuff, so it kind of got outdated as the new snapshot came on, so I'll, I'll end up uh, just giving a tour of all the stuff I did. Um, in the month that I haven't been recording and stuff, and I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, it won't won't happen again. But no promises. I get busy sometimes, and as you can see, the first thing I've done here is the bridge. And let me show you the bridge. Uh, two bridges actually. This is more of a walkway than a bridge, though. So the first thing I'll show is the bridge, and this is has ice underneath it and a block, two blocks above it, going all the way down in trapdoors on the bottom row. And this allows you to sprint and jump very quickly all the way down, as you can see, lightning fast. And I'm actually pretty proud of that. It looks awesome in the spot it is, and makes it really convenient. And here's my chest room. You can see I've gathered a lot of obsidian, got some ender eyes, ender pearls and stuff or chests I need to figure out spots to put down for. I think I'll put them down in uh, under this stair. Like have a piston pull this stair back and an ender chest being underneath it or having a piston retract this stair. I'm not sure. I'll end up finding some cool spots for them anyways. But ooh, I love the emerald ore texture now. And got them lapis plaques, all that stuff. Um, let's take the the stair again, the bridge, and I don't think I've done anything in that direction. Um, we'll take this back. I love how fast this thing is. It's amazing. And over here we have a sheep farm. And this is just a old fashioned style sheep farm. Man, that's pretty loud. And this actually yields pretty well. I didn't find much of a purpose in making an automatic sheep farm because those things are more work than they actually are benefit. Like designing one of those that's actually effective. I haven't seen an actually like effective, efficient one that's more efficient than just making a giant pen. So that's what I did. Just made a giant pen. Man, that's kind of loud. Sorry about that. And over here is the probably the thing I've spent the most time uh, while I was gone. This is a automatic slime farm, fully auto. All you have to do is stand here and slimes will come out. And I might be able to catch that on camera for you guys. I will eventually. Um, let me go show you guys the inner workings first. And I'll drop off all this wool. As you can see, I've got a lot of red wool, and I can use all that stuff for wiring and such later on. And here's the entrance to the um, the slime farm. So down here, we're gonna grab some cobble. And as you can see, we've got two spawning pads for the slimes. It's all 16 by 16, and I can hear one somewhere, so we'll be able to see see it in action. And as slimes spawn, if you didn't know this already, they go straight. So anywhere on one of these pads, the slimes will go through into these water, water, water channels. And this one on the edge, they'll, they'll get stuck in and go down here. And how we keep it going, I actually did that wrong. But I think they'll go up anyway. Uh, uh, so how it works is... There's stairs with the source block over the stairs, and how that works is you'll get pushed into the stairs and up, just like that. So you never have to get out. And this is just a slime. Uh, what do you call it? Slime smallinator. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what word to use, but the slimes get stuck in here and get drowned down to the smallest possible slime. And then they go through this hole. 
and all the way up this ladder because slimes can climb ladders so let me put uh, these back up and if you didn't know um, uh, ladders I mean you can eat full speed on ladders so that's a that's a good plus so you can hear the sheep and they climb to the top here and get pushed off down here and take enough damage to get killed and in that short amount of time we've already got 18 slime balls which is very good so let me go back and deposit everything and we'll get started on working on something for this episode not too sure what I want to do yet but it'll be something cool Alright, before we get started on the main project, I have a couple of smaller chore type things to do. First, we'll harvest this wheat farm. Man, I can't get over how good this thing is. <laughs> I love it. Just, that sound just makes me, makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> oh yeah. Wheat for days. And I think that's all of it. Ooh, that's not even... Can't even pick it all up. Let's get rid of... All except for six stacks of seeds. Can't seem to do that. Okay. So... Get six stacks of wheat from that. That's retarded. Look how much wheat we have. That is insane. Man, that's a, that's a lot of wheat. And all you have to do to replant is go all the way up to the top. I guess this is for the people who haven't seen my other videos or the one of where I built this. All you have to do is go up to the top and fill it back in. And wait. So anyways, I'm going to fill this back up and get on to the next project, or chore. Hey, what's up, dude? I think you're a little bit lost. This isn't quite the nether, man. What you doing up here? Yo. Hey, um, I could use your help, dude. You want to go farm these sheep, gather me some slime balls, cut- what? Come on. I, want, I need you to cut down some trees, dude. Come on. Don't want to cut down the trees. Alright, right, that's what you get, son. Yep. Sorry, guys, he wasn't listening. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to do now is enchant me some feather falling four boots. Because I'm going to do my project involves something high up. And I think the, the best level to get them in is uh, 26. So we're going to have to remove a couple bookshelves for this. This is just a ghetto temporary enchanting area. 28. Why can't I get 20? I don't want 28. Okay. Um. Again, this is 26. Perfect. Protection 4. Dang it. That's still pretty good, but not what we're looking for. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? I think we have to No slime balls. Um I think we have to gather some trees and I will force you guys to watch me chop trees down for about maybe a half an hour. I need a lot of trees. Actually I didn't even bring them with me, so I guess you guys are spared. I'm gonna go get my tree stuff, farm some trees, and start recording when I've got some some wood gathered. Hey what's up guys? You want you wanna help me with some tree farming? Come on. Come on. I know you do. See this is what happens to people who don't help me tree farm. You got that? Come on. Help me. Come on help me out dude. Come on this way. What are you doing? Come on. Aw oh, jeez. What a douche. Um, gathered enough wood, and we're going to go 
make our surprise kill you real quick too. I hate these guys. Oh shit. Anyways, I'm gonna go make make a bunch of stuff and maybe you guys can guess what I'm about to do with all this all this stuff I'm gathering. I, I hate to make you guys watch me uh, put stuff away in chests, but deal with it. Um, don't need any of that. I'm gonna need to just unorganize everything up, so I have enough room to do this. Grab this up a bunch of cobble, and let me see. I need couple stacks of redstone one two three four five six and a couple stacks of iron too anyways let's get cracking on making these <laughs> oh this is gonna be a pain Alright, so I'm, gonna, I'm making a bunch of pistons. I'll make them all and show you guys the the glorious results. Alright, and here we are. Our last stack of pistons. Whew. That was a lot of resources to make these. But if you can't tell what we're doing by now, that's okay. Because we are going to make an enderman farm. And for that we need about uh, nine stacks of... Nine stacks of sticky pistons, nine stacks of repeaters, uh, nine stacks of a lot of things, and a couple double chests full of blocks. So I will be busy collecting resources for a while, and um, let me see what else I can gather up. But all right, so I'm talking kind of quietly now because it's late at night, and, but um, I've got all my resources together whole ton, nine stacks of sticky pistons, redstone, and pressure plates. So if you haven't guessed by now, I'm going to be working on them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be working on Ugh, can't talk. I'm going to be working on an enderman farm. And I've actually already got started a little bit on it. So let's head over to the stronghold so I can show you guys what I've done. And I don't think I've shown this before. This is my little boat dock area all you do is come down here step on the pressure plate and bam boat so I'm gonna head over over there and show you guys what I've done alright so I've got a couple more things done over here and collected a lot more snow used up a lot of pistons about three stacks well, no four stacks and that's finished one side over here if you can see that and um I still have to finish a little bit more up there alright so I've been working pretty hard out here got a lot done um collected a lot of snow as you can hear some endermen are already coming down and got some obsidian all that stuff ready and I've got some of my stations already set up here's where I collect the snow just take my shovel and keep getting snow just like that. If I need to, I can set it easily. Just like that. And as you can see, I've got a lot of energy here. The way, I, the way I've been doing it is pretty efficient, so I, I'm getting pretty good rates already. I've only done half of it. Let me see if I can get a good view. See up there? only done the the back half so I need to get started on the last half oh shit ha sucker that's right um anyways I'm gonna get back to work on this and see if I can't get the rest of this done it's pretty tedious actually I'll go up there and show you how I'm doing this because I'm not doing this like uh, most enderman farms Alright, so we're up here at the top of the farm. As you can see, I don't have this set up as a normal Enderman farm, as most of them are set up. 
got these nice uh, nice spawns going on up here anyways and as you can see it alternates each level and this way um, I can fit in more spaces uh, per, per the the height limit and I can also uh, save a whole ton of redstone because I don't have to use any repeaters this way and this design was actually made by the original creator of this uh, JL well actually not it wasn't even made by JL it was made by one of his uh, one of the people on his server and uh, it's awesome really glad they made it helps out a lot for survival, survival players like me and I'm not completely sure I'm doing it the same way as he is but I just kind of saw it in in one of his server tours and just was like, sweet, I'll make it. So this is how I do it. Um, it's a little a little harder for this first layer because um, I don't have the uh, what do you call it the the technique down like the whole thing set up completely uh, efficiently so I can just run through and lay everything down the right way. So you just alternate every other block, put uh, snow down in an L, then we're going to put our pressure plates down here, then we're going to go redstone, actually let me switch this, redstone dot, redstone block, and just go all the way down like this until you finished, and I think... Um, I need to have the these blocks out, and then you go up two blocks, fill up the bottom layer here. This this is what I was talking about, where you can get real fast. Fill up the bottom layer here, and just make that kind of L shape pressure plates, pistons. And after you put the pistons down, you can get started on uh, the redstone and blocks. And you just gotta keep doing that all the way up to level 128. And um, excuse me, my voice is kind of shot. Um, keep doing that all the way up to level 128, and you've got yourself a, a ridiculously fast uh, Enderman farm. And that's what I'll do. And I will show you guys what I've got since then. I mean, after I've done this. Um. Anyways, let me do that, and I will show you the results. All right. So the Enderman farm is completely finished. Well, actually, mostly finished. The only thing left is to make this room look all nice, add some more chests and stuff. Not completely sure what I want to do here, but it's pretty. It's working pretty well. And for some reason, I had this left on peaceful from my invention map. And as you can see, Endermen are coming down like no tomorrow with this. It's working pretty well. And there are a couple that randomly die. I'm not sure why there's not really much I can do about that. And uh, none of them teleport away. We've got it all covered in water. It's all good. And we can get up to level 30 really quickly in under a minute. So, like, it takes uh, such a small amount of time with this. I can show it on camera right here. When I have to cut out. And what we'll have enough ender balls that we can use these complete for anything we want. We can have an ender pearl later now. We can I don't know. We can do lots of stuff. See already level twenty two, almost twenty three. And sorry about uh my volume it's all it's all messed up this episode because i was recording at night and you know it's i don't want to wake my family up and stuff but it'll be sorted out in the next couple episodes hopefully and we're almost there <laughs> gonna need to put some uh some way of getting food down here too because we're about to starve to death. Don't have any food on me. All I have is a couple of tools. Why is this so slow now? 
Oh, there we go. Normally it's a lot faster than this. I guess it's like, whenever you go to record something, it's never gonna turn out <laughs> like you planned. It's always how it goes, never turns out like you planned, but here we go. Got us level 30, and I think we're gonna enchant a nice working pick for us. Hopefully we'll get something good. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oops. Here we go, diamond pick. Tons of those guys. And here we go. Level 30. Wow, that's that's awful. That is awful. You know what I think about this pick? You know what I think about this pick? Screw you, pick. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna go and chant a couple more things. And that will do it for this episode. Um, expect a fancy little montage uh, with uh, with a cool, cool little music. I mean, cool little tune, not cool little music. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.